So what's up guys, it's Juice MC here, and if you want to enter my end of the month giveaway, just make sure you leave a like on the video, just make sure you comment down below which gift card you want, and you know your platform, for example, Xbox and your game attack, and then just make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss when I do other free giveaways. So what is up guys, it's Juice MC here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how Minecraft is different in other countries. Now, we all know and love Minecraft, and we all know that Minecraft is an awesome, awesome game that we all play in our, you know, whichever country we play in. And I do know that from my analytics on YouTube, the countries that, you know, do mostly watch my videos is from like Canada, the UK, and the US, and other countries I don't really pay attention to. But I'm pretty sure that Minecraft in most countries is, you know, like all pretty much the same version. A lot of the times... You know those versions are pretty much all the same and there's differences to the game but even if there are differences in the game those differences are minimal so that's what i'm going to be talking about today because a lot of people didn't even know that you know minecraft in other countries there's like some differences to the games and in some countries it's banned and in some countries there's like a lot of problems surrounding minecraft and i thought this generally would be an interesting video because a lot of people don't realize this we all just live in this world where as long as we've got it you know we wouldn't even realize you know what other countries are doing with minecraft so and the first thing i'm going to be talking about is that you know minecraft like the chinese version so if you guys didn't know i don't think that there was actually an official release of minecraft in china you may have been able you know to download like an, an apk of it like an illegal version of it like you know some some third party download but there was never you know a, an official official release as far as i'm concerned because what they've said what they've actually said on their actual website what mojang has actually stated is they've said and i'll just read this article for you guys because it's actually so interesting that um they're, they're gonna have a different version of the game to us and i honestly really do want to see what it's like because they said mojang goes to beijing to announce beta launch we're incredibly honored to attend an event in beijing today to announce minecraft's chinese closed beta it was a great crowd an incredible spectacle with minecraft conducting a takeover of beijing's famous water cube check out the pictures pretty pictures below Minecraft had a truly an amazing support from Chinese players over the years, even though it's never been very easy for them to buy the game, like I said, so, you know, them, they probably downloaded it from some, you know, third party site, even if they wanted to play the game, and, um, you know, I do want to say that, um, you know, China is, like, kind of different when it does come to Call of, Ju Call of Duty as well, and if you guys do play Call of Duty and you do know about Call of Duty, Duty Online, um, you know, China has their own version of COD, which is actually, I guess you could say, a lot better than kind of ours because you know it's like a mashup of all of the call of duties ever released and you know it's just one game that's constantly being updated wizards which is kind of kind of cool and you can you know jump onto some chinese servers and play it if you do want but you know let's you get back to minecraft i just wanted to show you an example how you know china's got like different rules and, and like different games and stuff but yeah like i was saying they said minecraft has had truly amazing support from chinese players over the years even though it's never been very easy for them to buy the game so it's thrilling to be able to officially reintroduce the game to such a passionate group of players and with our amazing partners at netease we're going to make sure it's an authentic a minecraft what that that's wrong it's, it's as authentic a minecraft experience as possible both pocket edition and pc version of the game will be available expertly localized and adapted by our friends at netease bringing special features for the chinese audience so that means that you know there there, there might be some you know unique features that the chinese version get that we don't get because i don't know why this is but a lot of the times in china they you know try to like i guess you could say control a lot of things like i, I believe youtube might be banned i was just reading an article that said you know youtube might be banned like a lot of um websites which we use for daily use are just you know banned in china so it's it's kind of weird over there just you know compared to what we live like you know like in the western world and they also said NetEase are inviting talented builders from all around the world to take part in the closed beta. We're super excited to see what Chinese players make in their Minecraft. But this is also an amazing opportunity for builders from other parts of the globe to put their creations in front of a new Chinese audience. International collaboration and inspiration at its finest. So this is actually, you know, one sort of, you know, um, you know, example of where, you know, Minecraft in a different country is going to be like there's going to be different changes and different you know changes that you know you wouldn't just expect which is you know pretty much normal for that edition of minecraft because that's the only version they have so i do hope that there are some you know like unique chinese features but i'm not familiar with the chinese culture so maybe if you are chinese and you do know something 
about this new version of minecraft you guys can you know just leave it in the comment section and yeah that that'd be actually actually really cool um there was a chinese mythology mashup pack which was released in um you know on the console edition as we know i believe in like around 2016 which was definitely really cool but that wasn't you know obviously released in china so um yeah that's just one example of where minecraft in another country is much much different than we originally thought so the next thing i'm going to be talking about about minecraft in another country is minecraft in turkey now if you guys didn't know already minecraft is basically you know seen as and I, and I honestly have no idea how how, the, how this makes sense is seen you know is seen as a violent game so that they're thinking that they want to ban the game but i'm not sure how it turned out because this article is um you know in 2015 and i haven't seen any more articles covering this minecraft story but apparently minecraft could be banned in turkey because they were saying that you know it's too violent of a game it's um it's i don't know how this makes sense guys and i'm not just saying that the turkish government are just you know silly but i'm just confused guys you play minecraft i play minecraft how is it a violent game minecraft is you know a game that can be played by all ages like and it's and it's still be you know fun so the article says turkey's ongoing investigation into mojang's hit sandbox game minecraft over concerns that it's too violent is moving forward results of the country's month-long probe event were released on tuesday and detailed in reports from turkish websites um I'm read those they explain how turkey's families and social policy ministry is now considering ban banning the popular game in the country um so yeah they, they 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 said no final decision has been made but um you know it, it it's I, i'm just very very confused that in other countries you know it's considered to be a violent game now what i think is going to happen and i and i don't know if this has ever happened already um because I, I haven't seen anything about minecraft you know more being in turkey but like i said guys i have no idea why this is happening and i still can't find any articles because i did just you know quickly do a cut com and um so i just cut, cut my mic off there but yeah guys why would minecraft ever be banned and honestly if i was living in turkey and i, I was like a youtuber that lived in turkey i'd honestly be kind of sad because if i you know played a game and enjoyed the game and um you know they thought of banning it because it's too violent and the reason they thought of banning the game yeah here, here here's here's the reason this is why they thought you know we should ban the game is because you know that in order to survive in minecraft i guess you have to kill hostile mobs so you know you have to kill you know creepers you have to kill skeletons and you have to kill stuff like that because you need to you know survive in the night um you need to kill them because they do spawn in they said that's the reason it's too violent because although it does encourage you know creativity with the building and you know the playing and stuff like that it it, it encourages killing mobs now i don't know any single action game that you play that you don't you know have to kill something and like i said guys it's a it's a game like you know you don't need to kill sheep all the time you don't even need to kill skeletons you don't even need to kill creepers if you do want you can just you know light up your entire world and then those won't spawn in or you could just play on peaceful mode so this is what i'm thinking is going to happen i just think you know minecraft possibly will release and um i honestly doubt they'll do this because mojang is just so big now that they've got so much money that i don't think they would care about one country isn't because you know I, d I don't think there's enough players maybe if they like sign a petition microsoft will probably do it but i think they're possibly gonna you know release and i hopefully in the future just for those players um but it's not banned yet but hopefully they do release a version which is um you know i guess you could say turkish uh allowed so you know maybe a turkish version which you know the government sees fit for you know the people to play so um like i said they could just put the game on peaceful mode that's always an option just putting the game on peaceful mode no hostile mobs you don't have to kill anything you can just live in your house with your with your mobs and you know live in your house not with your mobs live in your house with you know your sheep your villager and just you know eat you know some normal stuff like you don't even need to kill sheep you can just eat you know your crops that you you, you get from seeds and stuff so yeah I, I feel like they they didn't even realize you could just put the game on peaceful mode but yeah guys let me know what you think about this what do you guys think about minecraft in other countries hopefully this video was you know really cool and do not forget to leave a like on the video do not forget to subscribe to see and until the next time guys it's gonna be peace from me